Hi and welcome to Master the Piano's course on Mastering Scales. Today we'll be looking at all the scales related to the key of G. So what we're going to do is start off with our modes, our natural minor scale. Now the G mode is called the Mixolydian, so take your thumb and put it on the G. And what we're going to do is the standard fingering, so the horror of F major's fingering is behind you. So we're going to go group of three, thumb under, one, two, three, four, five, and back down. Three goes over. Let's do that again. So it's a group of three, thumb under, group of five. Three goes over. Left hand, your turn. Group of five. Three goes over. And back down, group of three, thumb goes under. Let's try that again. Five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, two, three, thumb under. Let's try that hands together. One and five, two and four, threes, right hand under. Three, over left hand. Left hand go under. Right hand go over. Let's try that one more time. One and five, two and four, threes, one, left hand, three goes over, four and two, five and one, left hand under, right hand over, and that's it, the G major similar motion for the natural minor scale. What we're going to do now is the G major scale. Now G major, if we're learning the scales in the order of key signature, this is the first scale with a sharp. So C major had nothing. Counting up five keys, we end up on G. G major will have only one sharp, and that is the F sharp here. So what I'd like you to do, take your thumb on the G, and we're going to go a group of three, thumb under, group of five, but your fourth finger, instead of playing F, make it come up to your F sharp here, and end on the G. Go back down, four, three, two, one, cross your three, that's it, let's try it again, one, two, three, under, one, two, three, raise your four up to your sharp, and back down, three over, let's try that for two octaves, yeah, one, two, three, one, two, three, raise it, instead of putting a five down, I'd like you to put your thumb onto the G, like that, so it goes four and then a one, and then you continue. Two, three, thumb under, one, two, three, four, five, and back we go. Four, three, two, one, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. Let's try that again for two octaves. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Back we go. Four on the F sharp. Four, three, two, one, three, two, one, four again on that F sharp. Four, three, two, one, three, two, one. Pretty good. Let's do the left hand now for just one octave and then we'll extend for two. Come up with the fifth finger on the G. So from middle C, one, two, three, four, this is your G. Five, four, three, two, one. Cross your third finger over, and again we now want the F sharp. So use your second finger to travel up to the F sharp and to the G. Thumb goes under. Let's try that again. G, A, B, C, D. Cross your three. Step up to your F sharp. Thumb under. Let's do it now for two octaves. Five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. Take your four and cross. Take your three and cross onto the E. F sharp. After your three, use your thumb. Thumb on the G. Thumb on the D. If that was too uncomfortable for you because you're starting too high, start one octave lower. And again, we'll try it for two octaves. Five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. Back we 
go, keep the F sharps on your second finger every time. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Good. Hands together for one octave. One and five. Two and four. Threes. Right hand go under. Left hand go over with a three. Both come up to your F sharp. Five and one. Four and two. Threes. Left hand go under. Right hand over. Let's try that again. Right hand under. Left hand over. Step up with four and two. Up to your F sharps. Left hand under. Right hand over. Let's do this now for two octaves. Are you ready? Start an octave lower if it means you don't have to stretch over yourself. Let's go. One and five, two and four, threes. Right hand, swing underneath. One and two, two and one, threes. Stretch up to your F sharps. Now put both thumbs onto your G. This is your pivot point. Two and four, you're doing the new section of the scale. Two, four, threes. Right hand under. Left hand onto your E. Use your third finger. Four and two on the F sharps and come up to your G. Left hand under. Three over. Good. Thumbs on G. Four and two. Two and one. One and two. Threes. Two, four. One, five. That's it. You're done. Let's try that one more time. One, five. Two, four. Threes. One and two. Two and one. Threes. Four, two. Thumbs, both thumbs here. Now cross your four in the left. Threes. One and two. Two and one. Threes. Step up to your F sharp and G. Left hand under. Threes. Two, four. Thumbs. Four and two. Threes. Left hand under. Okay, so now what we're going to do is the contrary scale. So we've done similar for one and two octaves, hands separate and hands together. For contrary, pick a G, so you can either choose this G or this G here, and we're going to come out and then come in. For comfort's sake, I'm going to start slightly lower. So the G goes down. Now you'll notice the left hand is the first one to play the black key because the F sharp is a semitone below the G. So you're going to go from one Two, three, thumb under. Two, three, four, five, and then you come back up. Let's start that. Thumbs, two on F sharp and A. Threes. Take your thumbs now and swing them underneath in both hands. You'll use the same fingers in both hands for this scale. Twos, threes. Right hand, make your fourth come up to the F sharp and end on the G. F sharps in the right hand on your four, threes, twos, ones, cross your threes inside, left hand, you've got the F sharp here. Let's try that again. And one, two, three, thumbs, twos, threes, right hand slide up, good, right hand slide up. Cross your threes, left hand slide up. Let's do that now for two octaves. Same finger patterns. We're going to go one, two, three, thumb under. One, two, three, four. But in your right hand, have the four on the F sharp. Then we take our thumbs and we put them onto the G's. And we do that much again. One, two in the left hand has the black F sharp. Threes, thumbs under. One, two, three, right hand stretch. Right hand black key, threes, twos, ones, threes. Left hand has the black key, two, one. Cross your fours now. Threes, left hand black key. Let's do that one more time. One, two, three, thumb under. Two, three, four, thumb. Two, three, thumb, two. Key. 
not bad, we've done all the major scale set. Okay, now what we're going to do, take a deep breath, whew, shake your hands out, and now what we're going to do is take a look at the G melodic, oh sorry, G harmonic minor scale. So we're going to start with our thumb on a G. I'm going to pick this G for my right hand, and we're going to play G, A, B flat. To fulfill the pattern, tone, semitone, tone, tone, semitone, tone and a half semitone, we're going to play G, A, you use your third finger on the B flat. You okay with that so far? Let's try it again. G, A, B flat, now take your thumb and put it onto the C. D, E flat, but because this is a minor scale, take your seventh note, which should be F, and raise it an extra semitone to make it F sharp. What you'll notice here is that you've got two black keys next to each other. So when you play the scale, do not play E, do not play F. Instead, skip from the E flat to the F sharp and end with your fifth finger on the G. Going back down, F sharp, E flat, D, C. Cross your third to the B flat. Try that again. G, A, B flat on a three. Thumb goes onto your C, E flat, stretch to your F sharp, and back down. Cross your three to the B flat. Let's do that for two octaves. One, two, three, thumb two, three, stretch to the black key. Now instead of putting a five, put a thumb. One, two, three on the B flat, thumb two, E flat, F sharp, G, and back down. Three on the B flat, F sharp, E flat, D, C, B flat, A, G. Let's do that one more time. If this is too high, feel free to start here. G, A, B flat, C, D, three, and the four on E flat and F sharp. Put your thumb onto the G, and it's like you do the scale again. One, two, three. Thumb on the C, D, E flat, F sharp, G, and back down. Three on the B flat. Four on F sharp. Three. Three on the B flat. Let's do that in the left hand now. First of all, let's just do one octave. Get your fingers used to the keys. Five on G. Four on B flat. Uh, four on A. Three on the B flat. Two on C. One on D. Take your third finger and jump up to the E flat. Use your second to stretch to F sharp and end on G. Thumb on the D. Three on B flat. Let's do that again. G, A, B flat, C, D, E flat number three, F sharp two. Thumb on the D. B flat, A, G. Not bad, not bad at all. Let's do that for one octave hands together. G and G. Threes are on the B flat now. One and two on C. Two and one on D. Stretch up to your E flat. Stretch across to your F sharp. Two and one on D. One and two on C. Threes cross to the B flat. One more time before we make it big. G, A, B flat, C, cross under in your right hand. Use both threes up to your E flat. Stretch across to your F sharp. Two and one. One and two. B flat, cross up. Two octaves. Now for comfort's sake, I'm going to move down another octave. So I'm going to start quite low down here. So this is middle C as a reference point for those of you watching at home. Thumb on G. Five on G. Two, four, threes. One and two. Two and one. Cross up to your threes in the E flat. Stretch. Four and two. Thumbs. Two, four. Threes on B flat. Thumb and two. Two and one. Threes on the E flat. Stretch across and end on the G. Left hand, put your thumb on the D now. Threes on B flat, thumbs on G. We're nearly there, four and two on F sharp. Threes on the E flat, two and one, one and two. Threes on B flat. Whew, you did it. Let's
let's do it one more time. G, A, B flat, thumb under. E flats, F sharps, put your thumbs down. Two and four, threes go up. One and two, two and one. Threes go up, fours go across, and G. Two and one. Threes go across. Two, four. Now you can put both thumbs on the G. Four and two on F sharp. Threes. Two and one. One and two. Threes on B flat. Well done, you did it. Okay. Last or second last scale we're going to do is the melodic minor. So it's the same thing as the harmonic minor. But instead of playing the E flat, our sixth note, we must raise now our sixth note from the E flat, raise a flat to a natural. So when we come up, you will play B flat and you will play F sharp. But as you know, when we come down from a melodic minor, we must lower the sixth and the seventh. So keep your B flat, that will stay regardless. But coming down, I will lower my F sharp to become F and I will lower my E to become E flat. To make this easy to remember, when you come up, come up with B flat and F sharp, come down with B flat and E flat. Let's try it in the right hand, shall we? Thumb once again on G. G, A, B flat on three. Thumb under. D, use a three on E, normal E. Raise your fourth finger up to the F sharp and G. Now switch, you want to play normal F with your fourth finger. Now you put your third finger not on E, but on E flat. D, C, cross your third finger back to the B flat. Ooh, let's try that again. G, A, B flat, thumb under. Keep a normal E, raise your F to F sharp, and lower your F sharp to normal F, lower your E to E flat. Cross your three, two octaves, let's go. G, A, B flat, thumb under, good, three, raise your four, put your thumb onto the G, two, three goes up, thumb goes under, three is normal, four is raised, five, four, three, two, one, cross your three, keep a normal four on the F sharp, F natural, Three on the E flat. Cross your three. Let's try that one more time. If that is too high, please start one octave lower. I don't want anyone hurting their arm unnecessarily. So starting on a G. G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B flat, C, D, E natural. Raise it, F sharp. Now lower, F. E flat, three on B flat, cross your four here, four is on the F, three on E flat, three on B flat. You survived right hand, now it's the left hand's turn. We'll do it for one octave first, and then extend to two octaves. So start with your five on a G. And again, same thing, when we come up, B flat, F sharp, come down, B flat, E flat. Five, four, three, B flat. Three on normal E. Raise your second up to the F sharp. Now switch, use your second on the F. Use a three on the E flat. Thumb goes under. B flat, A, G. Let's do that one more time. G, A, B flat, C, D. Cross your E, F sharp up. Now switch for the F. Keep your E flat thumb. B flat, A, G. Two octaves, but I'm going to start lower. G, A, B flat, C, D. Keep a normal E. Raise your F sharp. Cross your four onto the A. Three on E, F sharp. Now switch. E flat. Three on B flat. Four. Thumb. Normal F. Three on E flat. B flat. Cross your three on E, 
and slide to the F, three on E flat, three on B flat, four thumb, two, three on E flat, three on B flat. Let's see if we can do this really slowly, hands together for just one octave. So thumb and five, two and four, threes on B flat. Take your right hand thumb, put it on the C. Two and one, like we're pinching. Threes travel up to the E flat, four goes across to F sharp. Now slide to the Fs. Threes on normal E flats. Ds, two and one, one and two. Threes on B flat. One more time. G, A, B flat, thumb under. Keep a normal E, raise up to the F sharp. Now slide to normal F, lower to your E flat. Two and one. Three's on B flat. Two octaves, but I'm going to start lower. So five and one. B flats. Keep a normal E. Fours. Four and two. Thumbs. Two, four. Threes. One, two, two, one. Threes. Raise up. Normal F. Four and two. Threes. Two and one. One and two. Threes on the B flat. Two. Keep your E flat here. Three on B flat. Let's try that one more time. Last time. G's, A's, B flats. One and two. Two and one. Keep a normal E. Raise up. Thumbs. Two and four. Keep your B flats. One and two. Two and one. Threes on E. Raise up. F's. E flat on threes. Two and one. One and two, threes on B flats, two and four, thumbs, four and two on Fs, threes on E flats, two and one, one and two, threes on B flats. You did it! You managed to do the melodic minor, congratulations! What we're going to finish off with today is the chromatic or busy B scale. By now I'm sure you know the fingering as well as I do. One, three, one, three, one, two. So let's start with a thumb on a G. One, three, one, three, one, and two, three, one, three, one, two, three, one, and back we go. Three, two, one, three, one, three, two, one, three, one, three, one. Let's do that again. G. One, three, two, one, three, one, three, two, one, three, one, and back. Three, one, two, three, one, three, one, two, three, one, three, one. One more time. One, three, one, three, two, one, three, one, three, two, one, three, one. Back. Three, one, two, three, one, three. it. Congratulations, you have mastered the scales for the key of G. I hope you enjoy practicing it. Go slowly if you need to, and I'll see you again very soon for Lesson 6, where we look at the A scales. See you soon. Bye.